This is the Payday Loan Organizer workbook that can be downloaded from the website. It's really very simple to fill in, but I'm just going to walk you through it. Everything you need to do is explained on the spreadsheet. For example, you must input your next payday date and bi-weekly paycheck amount to use the spreadsheet. So let's do that. My next pay date is going to be the 18th of February. And for the purposes of using round figures, my next paycheck amount is going to be £1,000. That's it for sheet one. Those two amounts are all you need to enter. So what we do now is go to sheet two. And sheet two is where you enter your loans. Say for example, I get a loan from the Easy Payday company and I borrow £200 and I'll have that over 14 days and looking at my loan agreement I see that the charges are £28. I've entered everything I need to do with my loans here and the spreadsheet has calculated already that the total loan balance is £228 and has confirmed that the APR is 365%. If I check my loan agreement, those figures should be roughly the same. Also, you'll see it has brought forward the dates from the previous spreadsheet. These are the, your pay week dates. 18th of February was mine, and the next one will be 4th of March, 18th of March, 1st of April, and so on. OK, now out of this paycheck, I need to pay this loan off. So I'm going to put in the £228 there. If there were any rollover, I would enter it here and the charges relating to it as well. But for the purpose of this demonstration, we'll pay it off cleanly in one go. Now we go to sheet 6. And sheet 6 is the bi-weekly budget sheet. What's happened here is, again, the dates are all brought forward for you and your paycheck amounts are all brought forward for you as £1,000 with the exception of the one we've just done, which has been reduced by the amount of the loan payment, immediately showing us that all we have left this fortnight is £772. If we were to fill in some budget figures here, say for example our mortgage or rent, mm, utilities, phone, etc, a few bits and pieces, and I've deliberately made these figures add up to leave us 20 quid, just so as we can see how it works. If we were to take these figures and copy them, and then paste them in the next fortnight where there are no loans, you would see that we have more money left over because we don't have the loan to pay. So you can see how powerful this is. This is a dynamic rolling fortnightly budget that you can use to calculate very accurately your expenses and the money you have left. So that's the Payday Loan Organizer. Just briefly I want to show you the missing sheets. Sheet 3 is a little database of Payday Loan companies and their websites, charges, etc. Sheets 4 and 5 are very similar They're to each other. They are just calculation sheets. We don't really need to be interested in those. That's where Excel does all the magic so that we don't have to do the legwork. And there you go. That's the Payday Loan Organizer.